Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2014 Essentials, and this is the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 16. In this exercise, we are asked to open the drawing named Displaying and Annotating Pipe Networks Beyond, which I've done. And in this drawing, it has stylization labels and tables that were created in earlier exercises, and we want to use those same guidelines to stylize the and label the remaining pipes and structures that are in the drawing. So some of the pipes and structures have not been stylized and labeled. So the first thing we're going to do is apply the sea storm walls in profile style to all storm pipes in the drawing. That seems like a pretty big task, so how are we going to do that quickly? Well, Civil 3D has this really neat tool where you can select one item, right click and pick select similar and it will do just what it says. It will select objects in the drawing that are similar to it. And once they're selected, I can then maybe go into the properties command and change the style. Now you can see these guys were already set to Sea Storm Walls in Profile. So let's take a look at the other ones. I'll select them, right click, select similar. You can see it picked all of the pipes probably based on what style they were and what object type. Apparently it doesn't distinguish between pipe sizes because it picked pipes of different sizes. But from here I can open properties and change the style to Sea Storm Walls in Profile. Just like that. Next we are asked to change all current plan view labels to Sea Storm Name Only for all storm uh, pipes and structures. So how do we do that? <clears throat> I think we'll use the same tool. I'm going to select a structure label and do select similar. Then I'll go to the label properties command. Change the style to Sea Storm name only. And that worked quite nicely. Except that it did all of the labels, storm and sanitary. So the little uh, select similar trick doesn't work as well. So I'm going to have to hand pick the sanitary labels and change those back to the sanitary name only style. So instead of uh, C storm name only, these need to be C sanitary sewer name only. I have a few more here. Still not too bad, even though I had to hand pick those. It wasn't that big of a deal to change them. And I think I got them all. If I missed one or two, it's okay. Label the remaining storm pipes and structures using the sea storm only styles. Oh, I got to go back and do the pipes. So let me click the pipe labels. I don't have any sanitary pipe labels, so that actually makes the uh, Select similar tool work pretty well. Pipe label style, C storm name only. All right, so we're looking pretty good. Now we want to label the remaining storm pipes and structures using the C storm name only styles. So let me go to my annotate tab, add labels. We're doing a pipe network, and we can do entire network plan, C storm name only. C storm name only for both pipe and structure labels. I'll click add and just click one of the objects in that in that network and it's going to apply the labels throughout that network. So it did all of them at once. It says to rename the storm pipes and structures to continue the naming and numbering system that you've used so far. So if we look at the names we have now we ended at Enwall 1, Storm 6, Manhole 2, and Inlet 4. Alright, so our inlet, first inlet is going to be Inlet 5. So I'll go to the Properties command, which I already have open, and I'm going to change that name to Inlet-5. This will be Inlet 6. And I want 
to check to see did I use a preceding zero? I did. So let me let me fix that. Inlet 05. It's always handy to do that for when things are uh, organized alphanumerically. Inlet 06. Working my way down the line. Here I've got a manhole. My last manhole was manhole 02, so this will be manhole 03. STMH03. And then for pipes, our last pipe was Storm 06. So this guy will be Storm 07. And this guy will be Storm 08. And so on. And I'm not going to do all of them. It's going to be the same deal as I work my way down the line. Create a table for each storm sewer pipe network in the drawing. Use the sea storm structure and pipe data table style. So let's do that. I'm going to go up to my add tables command, pipe network, add structure, sea storm structure and pipe data by network. We'll do storm one first. And that's going to look nice and neat because everything's been renamed. And then when we do storm two, it's not going to look quite as nice because we don't have everything named like we did before. But when you do this exercise on your own, you can go through and do a thorough job and rename and renumber everything. Now for the pressure networks, it wants us to label all fittings and appurtenances in both plan and profile views using the appropriate styles. Label a few pipes using the proposed water style just to identify the water line. So I'm going to start up here at this end where I've got some, some stuff going on, a couple of T's and a valve and, and uh, add some labels. So I'll launch my add labels command and I'll do pressure network and I'm going to do single part because each time I label it's going to be a little different proposed water I've got bends and I've got T's and for appurtenances I've got a valve so let me click add label my T there we go that's a pretty simple label, it just has the word T. And then we've got a valve. Also a pretty simple label. A couple of more bends. So let me turn off this properties dialog. So I'll change T to bend and pick up these vertical bends and then for the water line right here I'm just going to click on the pipe and label that and maybe I'll even pull that one out and I can continue labeling on down the line got another T here, several more bends, and it's pretty much just more of the same. So let's go to profile view now. We'll do some similar labeling. Single part profile, proposed water. I'll start with T because I have that first, and valve. So click add. This first component here is a T and then I've got the valve here. I'm going to drop all these in and then I'll fix them up a little later. Here I've got a bend. Here I've got another bend. This is the same stuff that I just labeled in plan view. But let me pull the labels out of the way because obviously they don't look all that hot where they're at now. And 
let's do this. I'm going to put this label down here. Oops. And that's not looking too bad. And then we'll do the proposed water line up here. And I could continue working my way up the line, labeling bends and T's. This actually happens to be a T right here. This is a bend, this is a bend. And maybe a label proposed water line once or twice more down the line. All right, so that is how you do the different tasks in this exercise. I haven't done the entire drawing, but you would use the same uh, types of approaches to do more of the same. So that concludes the Essentials and Beyond exercise for Chapter 16.